Uh, hopefully this uh, phrase, uh, mm, time to wake up to this evil government. Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, we are outside, uh, well, we're near uh, Jubilee Gardens, just by uh, uh, the London Eye. Love it this week. You might actually like to find out that this place is uh, on private property. For some reason, somebody sold it to uh, Shell. So all of this becomes a uh, private property, but then of course Shell doesn't exactly uh, pay their taxes anyway. Uh, oh, here's a point to note. Uh, Shell just made $9 billion in profit. <laughs> but then uh, they're killing people off all over the place. Uh, we're, in, we're here at the Jubilee Gardens, uh, but uh, it's a London NHS demo. So hopefully after uh, this one, it's going to be a national demo. <laughs> People are getting enthusiastic already. <laughs> well done. Okay, yes, uh, another thing I, one thing I haven't uh, seen yet is any signs about the PFI debt. It's actually 300 billion, it's about 300 billion pounds worth of uh, PFI Remember, debt. this is an open megaphone. If you want to say anything against the cuts to the NHS, if you want to raise your voice, say it. Yeah, I, I was born at Lewisham Hospital, and if it wasn't for the hospital, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm here, and I spent most of my working life in the NHS, working in mental health, working in a &E, working in surgery. And what we have in the NHS is a jewel in the crown of this country, and what is happening today in the undermining of that jewel in our crown, really this government really needs completely destroying because of what they're doing to our valuable NHS. And I'm, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that. Hi guys, sorry, uh, I've never actually used the NHS myself, paid for it for the last, what, 25 years or so, but I think at some point, maybe in another decade, I will be uh, using the NHS services. One thing I have noticed is the fact that uh, no, one knows, um, no one mentions PFI, uh, 300 billion pounds of old use debt. That started with John Major, went uh, ballistic with, uh, uh, with Tony Blair and uh, Gordon Brown, the last year, that's, that became what, 300 billion with them. Then this uh, last year, Cameron and Osborne signed another 30 billion pounds worth. So when they say it's actually the, uh, there is no alternative, the case is that uh, we don't have to pay it. That is an oldest debt brought to the taxpayer. And the ones who are actually profiting from it are not the people in this, uh, in this area. Thank you. But uh, yeah, for some reason, no one mentions it. They all, all the, uh, all they complain about is the healthcare tourism, supposedly foreign people coming to this country using the NHS. That costs uh, seven million pounds a year. Tell that to uh, LBC and the BBC. Mention the uh, PFI, thank you. Yes. <laughs> we must never forget about the PFI, the problems of PFI debt. Those companies are making millions. They are making millions and millions from the privatization of our health service. The point is, health care is a human right. It is not just it is not just a luxury. The point is, we all need to have health care at any point in our lives. You fall down the stairs, you'll need to go to A&E. When you're feeling depressed, 
you will need the, some help from the, the mental health services, a point from counselling, because the fact that that <laughs> is another area which is being cut. Sorry. This uh, guys, sorry. Okay, so it's uh, five minutes, 12 seconds. Uh, if, uh, I'll uh, turn this off and then uh, hopefully we'll be uh, on, back on again in about half an hour. Uh, so speak to you later. Uh, peace out. And please, when you see this, tweet this out if you can. And uh, if you have any, uh, well, a spare change maybe, there's, uh, just go to Occupy News Network. There's actually uh, uh, a donate button as well, if you could. Thank you so much. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.